What are you doing here? I'm the rich person with the nice lighting that owns this apartment. I'm the rich person. Spencer Shea is finally rich? Or has he been this entire time? Ask me what I'm getting paid. Okay, what are you- Money, baby! There are millions of questions surrounding iCarly, but this time we're asking the questions so many have asked before us. Where the heck do these kids get the money to live these lavish lifestyles? Looking good, Carly. Feeling good, Freddy. There are multiple theories surrounding the financial situation in the Shea house, but the first is obvious. Carly and Spencer's dad pays for everything. You would have been a great lawyer. I would have been the worst lawyer. I know. <sighs> Just keep sending money. Spencer and Carly's dad is a high-ranking military colonel who probably brings in a hefty salary. It would make sense that he would be sending his children money, but enough to cover rent, food, electricity, and the copious amounts of art supplies, as well as supporting himself. I don't know. Seems a little suspicious. Oh my god, this freaks me out. <laughs> you know I paid to put this kid through law school? Oh, about that? Yes. It's possible that I drop out of law school? <laughs> he's kidding, right? <laughs> Tell me he's kidding. An apartment in Seattle is not cheap. Add in the fact that their place has a private elevator in it, multiple bedrooms, a studio, three floors, and a great view, we're looking at at least $3,000 a month. And who knows how high that electric bill is. A gummy bear chandelier? Made of fire retardant gummy bears! While it seems likely Carly and Spencer's dad could foot the bill for their apartment, what about food? With Sam coming over all the time, the Shays are always stocking up on food. Not to mention they like to eat out and constantly spend money. Is Papa Shay just hardwiring money to his kids every single day? I'd pay for it. I'd rather go on a date with you. I'd pay you for it. <laughs> you can invite me over to your place. Make me some dinner. I can go to an ATM right now. Money's not an object. It seems like it would be difficult for one person to support Carly and Spencer's extremely expensive lifestyle while also casually working with the president. So maybe there's another way these kids are paying for things. iCarly is more successful than we thought. It's no secret that today's influencers are raking in the cash. Profiting off a web series is like riding a bike for this generation. But it was the iCarly web show that paved the way for YouTubers like us. So what about when iCarly was at the peak of its success? Is it possible Carly, Sam, and Freddy were bringing in some money behind the scenes? Now, 100,000 paid over one year comes to... Over $8,000 a month. Do we have a deal? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Of course, the internet was a little different back then when iCarly was taking off but their web show was extremely popular. Even a TV producer wanted to cash in on their success. I'm the head of development for TVS. We want to turn iCarly into a hit TV show. Will you come with me? Okay, but I should probably call my brother Spencer. He's the adult that's responsible. Hey! They picked me up on the way here in a limo! And we can add in the fact that Carly, Sam, and Freddie have even sold merch. Are we gonna do the Penny Tea thing or not? I think we should. Our fans want them, and we can make a lot of cash. Sure, why not? Yes! Our Carly's in the Penny D business! There's no way Carly wasn't profiting off her web show more than what was let on. I mean, even the first lady knew what iCarly was. We wanted you to be on iCarly. Wait, for real? Yeah! Sure! Oh, this is Obama, the governor's waiting. Let the governor wait! Come on, let's go do iCarly! Okay, let's say Carly wasn't making any money from the web show. There's still one other possibility we're all overlooking. Maybe it's been right in front of our faces this entire time. Spencer has always been rich. There's obviously something weird going on with Spencer. From the spontaneous fires that haunt him to the fact that he looks eerily familiar. Quiet! <laughs> Thank you, Crazy Steve. Spencer has always been a head-scratcher for iCarly fans, but something that has truly baffled us is how he's able to afford an art career that brings in no money. Is it possible there's more to this art business that we don't know about? I may be an idiot, <laughs> but I'm not stupid. Spencer is a smart guy. 
After attending law school for only three days, he dropped out to become an artist. Now, we're not accusing Spencer of anything here, but isn't that a little odd? Almost like he learned valuable law information to help fund his lucrative art career that was secretly bringing in a lot of money. Principal Franklin says it's not legal to solicit money from kids over the internet. Principal Franklin didn't go to law school like your big bro. He went for three days. But I kept this book. <laughs> And it says it is illegal to solicit money over the internet from persons under the age of 18. We know that. Unless you provide a product or service in return. We won't even get into the world of high-end art, but it's possible Spencer was bringing in a ton of money before he was ever even discovered as a famous artist. Now I know why Mr. Clemish gave me $2,000 for your pencil sculpture. What? 2000 what? Two Gs. But I told Clemish I'd probably sell it for around 500. Well, he said artists get more money for their work after they're dead. Hello? No, I'm sorry, Spencer is dead. Spencer's art projects were always important to him. He put a lot of effort into each creation, and then, usually, we just never saw his projects again. I mean, where exactly do you store a giant coffee cup you can swim in? <laughs> Oh, just about 500 gallons! Spencer, that's crazy! Ah, it's okay, it's decaf. Perhaps all of Spencer's early work is out there hiding in the secret world of high-end art. We'll never know, though, will we? At least now he can finally say he's rich out loud. I accidentally Googled myself. Wow, super famous sculptor, and look at that net worth. Whether it's the Shays family, the web show, or Spencer's art that kept Spencer and Carly afloat, their financial situation will always remain a mystery. And maybe it's for the best anyway. Do we really need to know every single detail about their lives? Yes. Yes, we do. Well then, what do you think? Tell us your wildest assumptions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Rewind for more conspiracies. Ooh.